In this video, I'm going to review the executions I made on Friday, August the 11th, and um, I'm kind of embarrassed doing this because, you know, obviously there's there's a good number of mistakes here, but I'll, I'll try and go through it and, and just go line by line. So at the very onset, my rule is that I do not want to start trading until 0950. So I started trading exactly two minutes before my system or when I would want to start trading. I took my first long execution right here at 15,082 uh, because I thought we were going to drop into the opening range gap. Um, I was looking at our opening range gap and I was looking at potentially trading up to the 50 or 75 percent of the opening range gap, which of course we ended up doing. Um, I was initially stopped out at 15,060, so I, I was long and then I was stopped out. The mistake that I made there was I put my stop I put my stop based on this black candle just below the the midpoint of that which of course price came down and tagged that with price being so wicky and 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 just wonky recently I have to use wider stops and my stop should have been at 15,000 0.5575 75 or 05550 so it should have been below the mean threshold of like that candle wick right there. So 055 spot 25. That's where my first stop should have been. I then tried reversing immediately to go short and and got stopped out on that. So I just opened up with two losses. I should not have tried to reverse short on this. Um, I, I guess I was just jumping the gun thinking I, I saw that we do have sell side liquidity lower and I thought, oh, well, I guess maybe we're going to just turn. No, I, I should take more time in between in between my trades, I guess, and or at least, you know, I should have seen that the market really just came down and tagged me out and it was going to go in the direction that I intended. Uh, third long came here at uh, 15,091 evens, and I did take a profitable trade on this. I, I, I got out at oh, uh, 15,107 spot 50. Uh, but really, if I'm being honest with myself, the what I should have done with this is taken this as a one minute fair value gap so right here fair value gap one minute and I should have trailed up my stop if I'm being honest with you I should have trailed up my stop to right there or maybe even a little bit lower but right there just below just below the high of this candle here that's where I should have trailed up my stop and although it would have made the position a slightly unprofitable if price traded all the way back down to it that's really just based on price action and not on my positions, um, that's where I should have had my stop. I just trade up, trail up my stop right there. I should not have closed out this position and opened up a new one. Instead, I should have just, like I said a moment ago, that's where I should have trailed up my stop. Uh, with that being said, after I made a profitable trade there, just getting above that initial high that we made at 0937, which again, that would be a very strange thing for price to take out that high and then turn back immediately lower and take out the new low. But in any event, that's what happened there. I got long again at 15,116 spot 25, took some drawdown on that and closed it out at 15,150 spot 50, which I'm happy with that trade. I'm happy with that trade. Um, Really, it should have been from this long down at 091. That that really should have been my execution on that. But in any event, uh, that that is what happened there. Uh, going on from there, I longed again at 157 spot 25, and I sold at 167 spot 75, which uh, was just above that high that we just had made, and I'm happy with that. I shorted at 15,149 spot 25 right there as I saw that the market made one, two, three, four new highs and the market had traded up uh, into this prior order flow over here. So you can see that we had some prior order flow over here. Um, and so, yeah. So the next short came at 15,149 spot 25 and I got stopped out break even on that and at 148 spot 50. And again, this is one of those things where I'm basing my positions not on the market but on my on my account and and really I shouldn't have been stopped out on that. Where my stop should have gone Where my stop should have gone was right there, so right here. 
And you see, I never, I would have never been tagged out on that. That's where I should have been. That's where I should have had my stop loss. I know that I'm being way too aggressive with these break-even stops, which was working when price action was cleaner. Um, I then got fooled, and I tried to take a long at 140 spot 25, and I got stopped out. Now, guys, this this was really just me being stupid. Um, trying to, I was seeing that the market came back down to this black candle here, and I thought, oh, it might turn up and go back higher. But if guys, what was this? When did the 1050 start? I mean, I think it was pretty clear at this point the market was going to come back down lower. So I got short at 15,124 spot 50, and I covered it here at 104 spot 25 uh, as the market traded back down into this uh, one minute fair value gap. That's not what should have happened. Um, the market was very unlikely to stop right there at that fair value gap, turn back and go make a new high without delivering this liquidity, without delivering this liquidity or this liquidity. It was very unlikely that the market was just going to stop there. And I should have known that. Um, so that 15,124 spot 50, that trade right there, uh, where should my stop, my trailing stop have gone? I mean, I think it's pretty obvious where it should have gone. Um, it should have gone at 15,131 and I should have just been in that trade right there that's where my trailing stop should have been so rather than take 20 points and then re-enter the market I should have uh, trailed my stop down right there it would have been a small loss if price came all the way back that's fine um, because it was just really Likely, I mean, at that point, it was very likely that the market was going to come back and take out take out these lows, which is what it, clearly it was drawing to. So that was a mistake. That was a mistake. In any event, um, I then got short again at fifteen thousand one hundred three spot two five, covered at fifteen thousand oh ninety one um, as the market came down into this low and I'm you know what I'm not too upset about that but but really again uh, that I'm not super happy with it um, and you know frankly if that's where I was going to take out my trade then I should have waited for a long time uh, I got short again at 15,091 spot 75 covered it at 15 covered it here Short again at 15,079, covered it at 072 spot 75. Again, I'm just don't know, you know, the market was very choppy and I should have known like eh, I was going to take out those lows. Uh, short again at 15,066 spot 50, uh, stopped out break even. I shorted again here at 15,054 spot 50 as I saw that the market might have drawn all the way down to 15,022 spot 25. I uh, covered it at 049 spot 75. Um, I tried to get long here at 15,061 spot 25, and I was getting pretty close to where the market was turning around and, and was going to go make a new high. But I got stopped out, break even here, or at a 20 point loss, not break even, a 20 point loss here at 15,041. This was just a misuse of a stop placement. So, again, I should have used that wick. So instead of the candle body, I got stopped out because I used the candle body instead of just looking at the long wick. I should have looked at the wick. And when I try to get long here, the stop should have been right there. That's where the stop should have been, and I wouldn't have been stopped out. Uh, and I believe that I tried to get short again and, and just reversed immediately and got stopped out on that. So... You can see I'm reversing pretty quickly, and that's probably, yeah, I'm over-trading. That's a mistake. Uh, I got long here at 15,060 spot 75, and I covered up here at 15,076 uh, spot 75. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I just get scared. I just get scared whenever I see that the market is starting to, like, 
flounder, does it look like it wants to take out these highs? Of course, the market came up and took out three highs, like it always does. It takes out highs and lows. That's what it does. Whether it's going to pretend to you like it's not going to do that, it, it of course it did. Uh, and I, you know, I, I've just got a little bit of paper hands right now, guys. I just, I've got a little bit of paper hands. I'm nervous to take losses. I'm scared to lose money right now. And again, like where should my, just looking purely at price action, where should my trailing stop have been? You know, probably right here. As the market traded higher, there was a fair value gap, and I just put the stop right there at 062. Would that be a small loss? Yeah, that's okay. It's okay. Because the market is more likely than not, it's going to come out and take out these highs exactly like it did. Um, okay, so I longed it again at 085 spot 25. I covered at 095.50. Again, that trade should not have existed. Um, I should have just put my stop down maybe at the consequent encouragement of that wick, so like 078. Long again at 091 evens, and then this time I covered at 0, uh, 104 spot 75, which was prior to it making a new high which, you know, I should have guessed it was going to come out and take out these highs, which it, it did. So that was just a little bit of paper hands. Um, shorted at 097 spot 75. As I saw that the market had a one minute fair value gap here. We had a one minute fair value gap there, and um, I saw that the market broke lower. We broke the low that took us to the high. That was actually model 2022, because we had a push into stops. We had a breakdown from the low that took us to the high, created a fair value gap, traded back into it. That's actually model 2022. So this right here, That was a model 2022 right there. Take a look at that. Beautiful model 2022. Um, okay, and then let's see. So I shorted 097 spot 75, covered it as price. That was dumb. That was dumb. Price was coming down into this, drawing into this fair value gap, and it was drawing down back to these lows even if it didn't get there. That was That should not have been a stop out. Uh, shorted again at 081.50, and I covered it at 079. Even shorted again at 081 halves, uh, covered it again. Shorted again at 062 halves, and covered it at. I think that was a break-even stop. I was then long at 064 halves, and uh, break-even trade again. Shorted again at 067 spot 25, and covered. Uh, I think that was a four point win. Shorted again, and I took a loss. So I shorted here as I thought the market was going to draw down into these lows. It did not. Uh, and I took a loss. So I took a loss as price made a new high there. Tried shorting it again, took another loss. Then I tried longing it, and I think I. Yeah, I was just having. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. This was really tough for me because that's a big time liquidity signature, and this is a liquidity signature over here. And so I just thought we were going to make a new low. If I'm being honest with you, I thought we were going to make a new low, and we did not. So that was that was just too much aggression, frankly. Um, I, you just see the same theme. I don't want to go through all of my trades. I'm getting kind of tired. One of these was a short, though, and that was a profitable trade right there. That was a short, as I saw that the market. And we traded down into some short-term lows here. So, anyways, um, I'll just leave the recipe. I mean... The theme is with me is um, too aggressive with the break even stops.
so that's those are kind of my current mistakes uh, as we as we see um, you know price you know Friday's trading for example just very wicky very very wicky I mean look at all the long wicks on every single candle Thursday's trading was the same I mean look at the long wicks on every single candle on Thursday's trading Wednesday's trading I had it but not as bad I mean that was a clean move in the PM session on Wednesday clean move on the PM session to sell side liquidity um, on Wednesday a not so clean move up into some buy side liquidity on Wednesday uh, Monday even Monday's trading was cleaner than Friday's trading, but I mean, look at that. Look at the long wicks there. Um, we come back into last week's trading. I mean, you can see how different it was, right? Just clean move higher, clean move higher. A fairly clean move down. Not the world's cleanest, but fairly clean. Very clean move on Wednesday, August uh, the 2nd of August. All right, let's go back into some of July's trading. That was not clean. I admit that was, that was pretty dirty. But look at that. All right, now there's a clean move. Just nice and clean. There's a clean move higher. Pretty fairly clean move higher, fairly clean move lower. Uh, this was not clean. 24th of July, that was not clean. But we did, it did end up having a, a good move. Um, Thursday, the 20th of July, look at that. Very clean move. You know. Look at that nice clean move higher the 18th of July, 17th of July, nice clean move higher, fairly clean move lower here on the 14th of July. Look at that 13th of July, very clean move higher, like not a lot of wicking at all, just a nice, just nice clean movement, which is not something that we've been seeing recently. And um, just a new experience for me, this, this whole kind of just frankly dirty price action. So the current mistakes that I'm making, um, I am not using a price price action based trailing stops, which I need to be. Um, I'm too aggressive with the break even stops. I'm afraid to lose money, which you can't be afraid to lose money if you are trading, you're day trading. You just can't be afraid to lose money. It's going to happen. Um, I'm not trusting that the market will deliver into short-term liquidity when it virtually always does, guys. Like, very rarely do you have these failure swings. Usually, price does the Nasdaq does deliver into its liquidity. Um, and I'm just, yeah, just outright probably making too many executions. I got to slow down on the number of executions. Uh, I would say, yeah, I'm over trading. I'm definitely over trading. Uh, I have no other way to say that. Um, I'm certainly not allowing enough time between my executions, not allowing the market to spend enough time, you know, setting up a new identifiable PD array. Um, I'm too tight with the stop losses, so my, my stop losses are just too tight to begin with. I'm too tight or too quick on the trigger with the break-even stops. I'm allowing myself to get stopped out of the market too quickly. I'm not trusting that the market is going to deliver the liquidity, which is what it always does, guys. Whether it's doing it slow or if it's doing it fast, it's always going to try and deliver liquidity. It's drawing to liquidity at all times. It, you know, it's just a matter of identifying in which direction it's it's likely drawing. Um, that's really the only question. Um, and then I'm not using proper trailing stops that are that are trailing with the market. So. In any event, guys, I'm afraid to lose money right now. I'm over trading. Um, I'm not allowing enough time in between my positions, which is a big problem. I'm not trusting that the market will deliver liquidity, which is what it always does. And I'm just, I'm just making too many executions. So uh, when we come in on Monday's trading, Sunday and Monday's trading, I am going to slow down. Um, I'm going to stop being so aggressive with the break even stops. I'm going to make sure that I'm using proper trailed stops that are not so easily stopped out. I'm going to widen the initial stop and we'll see how that treats us guys. And I'm going to trust that the market should deliver, deliver its liquidity targets. So that's what uh, is going to change here on Sunday and Monday's trading. Bye-bye.